Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about the auto split and auto summarize feature of Superpower Chat GPT. First thing first, you need to go to Google, search for Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link, and there is a button that says Add to Chrome. You can click on this button and it will add the extension to your browser. You can also add this to Edge or Firefox or like other browser um, that support like Chromium based um, extensions. Once you install the extension, you go back to ChatGPT and refresh the page, and this is what you see. You see your like a bunch of extra features, the top nav bar, the search bar, folders, a bunch of extra features that you don't see with regular ChatGPT. I'll talk about all those features in other videos, uh, but for this video, we're going to talk about the auto split and auto summarize. So first thing first, why do we even need auto split and auto summarize? Um, the auto split is basically useful because with chat GPT, every model like GPT 3.5 or GPT 4, they all have a limited number of like character that you can submit in every prompt. With GPT 3.5, that limit is close to about 30,000. And with uh, GPT 4, the most recent one, the limit is um, close to about 120,000 character. The, ca the character limit that I'm talking about is like the number of character that you can type in the input down here. And one useful feature we have down here is the character counter uh, on the bottom right of the input. It shows you how many character you have uh, already typed in the input. As you type in here, you can see the number of character and word goes up. Now, how to use um, auto split uh, with Superpower Chat GPT. First thing you need to do is to go to the setting and click on the splitter tab up here. And you'll. this is what you see in the setting for auto split. So you see two switch at the top, auto split and auto summarize. I'll talk about the auto summarize later, but uh, for now, we're going to talk and focus on the auto split. So um, uh, to use the auto split feature, first thing you need to do is to turn on the auto split toggle. Once you do that, you're telling ChatGPT to um, basically split long input into multiple chunks. Once you turn that on, you can change the number of like the limit for the auto split chunk size. So when you use auto split, your long input will automatically be uh, divided into multiple chunks. And by this number is telling ChatGPT how long do you want each chunk to be. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's a limit for 3.5, which is close to 28 to 30,000, and GPT-4 limit is close to 120,000. So when you're setting this limit, depending on which model you're going to use later at the top here, you have to make sure that this number is smaller than the limit for that model. So if you're using 3.5, you have to make sure the number you're using here is less than 28,000 character. And if you're using GPT-4, make sure the number is less than 128,000. I'm going to just set it at 10,000 for now to test uh, the auto split later, but I could technically go anywhere close to 28,000 if I wanted to. Now, below this uh, number, you see two uh, input box. The first one is uh, the auto split prompt, and the second one is the chunk prompt. What is auto split prompt? The auto split prompt is the prompt that is used to tell ChatGPT that you are submitting your input into multiple chunks. If you don't tell ChatGPT that you are splitting your long input into multiple chunks and just try to like submit multiple chunks one after each other, ChatGPT won't know that it has to wait for the whole um, input to be submitted into ChatGPT. So it will just try to respond to each chunk individually. Because of that, you have to, when you first start like splitting your input into multiple chunks, you have to tell ChatGPT to wait for all the chunk to be submitted. The second input box is the prompt that is used to process each chunk. Now, the simplest case is to just confirm that ChatGPT received the chunk. You don't want to do any processing on the chunk. As soon as you submit one chunk, you tell ChatGPT to confirm that uh, it received the chunk. This is what this default prompt does. But you can also maybe go to the next level. And for example, you can tell ChatGPT to 
summarize each chunk after it receives the chunk, which that is what the auto summarizes. I'll talk about that later in this video, but um, for now, we're just gonna leave everything the way they are. If you don't know what you're doing with the prompt, just don't change them, leave them the way they are. Otherwise, it can cause issues with the way the auto split prompt works. So, okay, once you have this turned on, set this character limit to 10,000, for example, leave everything else the same, close this and then go back to chat to uh, chat gpt now i'm selecting as i mentioned earlier 3.5 for this example i'm gonna copy the uh, input that i have here and i'm gonna paste it in the input box as i mentioned we have the character input uh, the character counter for the input down here you can see that as i get closer to the limit the color turned yellow from gray and if i keep typing and if i past the limit, the color is going to turn red. It's basically telling me that my input is too long and I have to make it shorter. Now, this is, this input is, as you can see down here, is about 30,000 characters. And in the auto split uh, setting, uh, if you remember, we selected 10,000 for our limit. That means we are going to have three chunk of input submitted to ChatGPT, one after each other, if we use the auto split uh, feature, which we are doing that, we all turned it on. So if I submit this uh, prompt, I expect to see three different chunk submitted to chat GPT. So I'm just gonna do that right now and see what happens. Okay, as you can see at the top, it added the auto split um, uh, prompt. Now you can see the chunks are being uh, submitted and you can see the confirmation. So if you look here, uh, okay, chunk three out of three. At the beginning, at the top, this is this is the prompt that uh, I showed you in the auto split uh, setting. This is the prompt that is telling ChatGPT to wait for all the chunk to be submitted. After that, it automatically uh, dividing our uh, input into multiple chunks and submitted submitting each chunk one by one, um, and then. At the end, you can see that it like at the end of like each chunk, you can see it says like chunk one out of three, two out of three, and then three out of three is received. Now that you have all the chunk, you can uh, start talking to ChatGPT about all the chunks that you have submitted. You can do the exact same thing with uh, GPT-4. Uh, now let's go back to the setting and talk about the auto summarize. So the auto summarize, as I mentioned earlier, you can change the chunk prompt uh, uh, here, the processing prompt, to do different things with, um, with uh, your input. For example, you can try to summarize it. And that's exactly what the auto summarize does. If you turn this on, if you notice here, the prompt was changed and it is now telling ChatGPT to not only confirm that it received the, the chunk, but also, write a short summary of the chunk. Why is this useful? The auto summarize is useful because um, by summarizing each chunk into like a smaller amount of text and keeping that in the memory, at the end of like submitting your like very long input, you can give that summary to ChatGPT and uh, ask question about from that summary. Like ChatGPT still has a limited memory. So even if you submit all the chunks one after each other, some of that input might get out of the ChatGPT memory. So by creating a summary of each chunk right after the chunk was processed, you can keep that 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 um that summary in the memory of uh, superpower chat gpt and then at the end submit that summary and ask question from that summary now i'm gonna uh, test test this um the auto summarizer with gpt3 and a smaller um input again but just to remember here the the auto summarize it's not just changing the prompt here. It's also telling uh, Superpower Chat GPT to keep a copy of the summary of each chunk in its memory. 
by keeping that in the memory, we can submit that at the end and uh, ask question from that, that summary. Now let's let's test that to see how it works. Okay, so um, the auto summarize is on. Uh, auto summarize for the auto summarize to work, auto split also has to be on. But also, I'm going to change the limit back to ten thousand because we are going to use GPT three point five to test this. I'm going to change this to three point five, and I'm going to use my uh, first input, which was about thirty thousand character. Again, down here you can see the total number of character, and I'm going to like submit um, this input and see what happens with the auto summarize on. 30,000, submit that, and let's see what happens. Okay, now you can see that after processing each uh, chunk, it's also generating a very short summary of that chunk. And at the end, it is keeping each summary in its memory, and then at the end, Superpower Chat GPT is gonna submit all of those summaries into um, chat GPT. Now I have a summary of the full conversation for each chunk and I can ask question from that summary. Now this summary because of the prompt that we use in the uh, auto splitter it says like a short summary of the last chunk. It's a short summary. It's really short so it might not cover like a lot of the detail from that um, that input but you can change that prompt. You can change the uh, the auto summarize prompt to instead of like saying like um like a a short summary you can maybe just remove the short or say a long summary or like a i don't know like you can you can basically change that to play around with the length of the um summary that you want to create and um at the end, maybe have like a longer summary of your input and then be able to ask more question about like the smaller detail of uh, your input. But yeah, this is the auto split and auto summarize feature. I hope um, this is helpful. Um, give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment and um, hope you like it. Thank you.